Today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, one of the big things that a lot of fans are talking about right now is, of course, exactly how will Kylo Ren evolve as a character in Episode 9. Now, we do know one thing for sure is that J.J. Abrams will be evolving this character significantly, not just in appearance, but also in power, and what Kylo Ren will be capable of in the final film of the sequel trilogy. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams has a very very important task at, here, at hand here in order to really satisfy a lot of Star Wars fans around the world. Now these past couple of weeks we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with Kylo Ren and a potential new appearance for the movie. Specifically Kylo Ren walking in a dark alleyway, or a hallway if you will. He sports a brown robe with a hood over his head, with his lightsaber ignited, the blade is red, the chest area has all black shades of the robe, Kylo Ren's scar is gone indicating that this does indeed take place years after the events of The Last Jedi. Now, when I'm thinking about the black portion of the robes and the brown portion of the robe on Kylo Ren, I instantly think way back to Anakin Skywalker's attire in Revenge of the Sith. If you guys go ahead and look at his attire in that movie, that's exactly what I'm thinking about right now, especially when he slaughters the Separatists on Mustafar in that epic scene. So could Kylo Ren be a parallel in a sense to Anakin Skywalker's trouble and his, I guess you could say, internal conflicts in Revenge of the Sith? Could we very well be seeing a parallel to that in Episode 9 between Grandfather and Grandson? Now that, that to me, I think is something that I can see J.J. Abrams really knocking out of the park when it comes to parallels because we do know that he's going to be putting a lot of prequel trilogy continuity in this movie and what better way to have a lot of parallels to Revenge of the Sith for the character of Kylo Ren. Now looking at Kylo as a character, alright, this is also something that a lot of people are wondering about is what is his end game? What is his ultimate plan in episode 9? What is he trying to achieve? Yes, we do know that he wants to kill Rey according to, you know, the ending of The Last Jedi when he's talking to his Uncle Luke. You know, I'll destroy her and you and all of it. And when I killed you, I would have killed The Last Jedi, right? The whole entire game plan there. So we do know that he wants Rey, he wants her out, he wants to get rid of the Resistance, he wants them to be a part of the past, he wants to start a new order, which by the way could very well be the official title of Episode 9, Star Wars A New Order, almost like a little nod to A New Hope. I think it's going to happen and there's a lot of rumors that that is indeed the official title of the movie. But as far as Kylo Ren's attire goes, right, his potential new look in Episode 9, mirroring that of Anakin Skywalker in Revenge of the Sith, I personally think is golden. The brown robes, right? The black portion of the attire in the middle, in his chest area, and how he has the hood over his head. I'm just getting constant images in my head now of Anakin Skywalker in the prequel trilogy. And you know what? I think it fits in perfectly if this actually does end up coming into fruition for the finalized version of the film. I think that that is one version of Kylo Ren that I think a lot of fans would love to see where, all right, let's say maybe he doesn't wear the mask in episode nine, but perhaps he doesn't just have a helmet off the entire time. What if he wears a hood quite a bit in this film to make him appear more sinister? A great example is Emperor Palpatine, you know, look at him in the original trilogy. I mean, he's very, very intimidating, right? With that hood and the voice and how he's very sure of himself and all these different things, right? Same goes for Darth Maul when he's wearing the hood. You know, he's more sinister looking like that in a sense, and how he pulls the hood back and you see the horns sticking out of his skull. I love that. I love the concept of hoods over a character, and if this actually happens with Kylo Ren, I think that that is something that a lot of fans will realize, that that is a direct parallel 
to Anakin in Revenge of the Sith. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.